Hello, my dear. So welcome to this global meeting specifically designed for you happiness today. As you know, the scientists find out that human beings could use just 5% of their potential. And thus, uh, till now, it seems like uh, all uh, human beings was happy just 5% from all 100. Therefore, uh, all of these struggles, all of these difficulties was till now. But now, as we live in the besides the coming uh, time, uh, we are doing global prey chain every day. 1,000 first meeting a row to unite people organization to finish ultimate global peace by 97 and global peace forum and global prayers chain to mobilize heavenly world that everyone could be happy especially you till stay till the end and rejoice together as these meetings are in direct presence of god there were so many miracles in our meetings and uh, uh, testimonies um, with the living god and even uh, a vision that the billions of spirits are with us praying together with us for this greatest uh, work that um, everyone, all it been about people supposed to live in happiness with God by 2027, live in peace. And therefore people try even with price of their life to live there in this uh, kingdom. They are refugee from one country to another. They start wars and other things, uh, but uh, God is with his messenger. And the uh, Messiah is coming, that they send it and they build already heavenly kingdom, the 12th year, just we're supposed to inherit it now, life, family, community, country, and the whole world by 2027, and even more quickly by 2025. So subscribe to the channel, share this message to billions, turn on the list, and listen to God's word, sanctify your place 24 per 7. More blessing is below the videos. And let me go, stealthy then, receive all full blessing, sing along.
Okay, this was powerful music from the Messiah Second Coming. Let me go with the global prayers chain, starting with the words of God from Messiah Second Coming. Okay. These are words, last words of God from the scriptures of peace. If Islam and Christianity are left to battle on their own, humanity is bound to perish. We are living in a world where atomic bombs and even biological and chemical weapons could cause far more serious destruction than even the world wars. One individual can bring ruin not just to whole village, but even to the whole planet. We can no longer depend on external forces for protection. No matter how much we fight, we will never see the end of strife. That is why for decades now I have been conducting activities to unite the religious world. I'm working to unite them through the God conferences which teach that the God of Israel and the God of Islam are not different. The God of Christianity and the God, as I know in other religions, are one and the same. In this way, I'm continually carrying out interreligious activities worldwide. In addition, I continue to lead an interracial movement among all peoples. Okay, this was quotes for today. So powerful quotes. Let me go with the global prayer chain and invite our sister Grace from uh, Uganda, Heavenly Africa, to say a powerful prayer for peace. Happy welcome, Grace. Thank you so much, Brother Nikolai. Good evening, everyone. Let us humble ourselves and pray. Our precious heavenly parent, our most beloved to parents of heaven, earth, and humankind. Thank you so much for this day. Thank you so much for the gift of life. Thank you so much for your divine protection, and we are grateful for your provision. Heavenly Parent, it's such an honor this evening that we can come together as brothers and sisters, your children, to pray together for the purpose of peace in the world. Beloved Heavenly Parents, you have worked with us for this long journey. You abandoned us. You have with us. Every time we may make a step, Heavenly Parent, we know that it's you who is behind everything. You are by our side. We generate energy from you, Heavenly Parent. We thank you so much for the love that you have given us as humankind, Heavenly Parent. We thank you for the for the effort, for the sacrifice that you are giving us every day. Now, Heavenly Parent, as we pray for peace in this world, would like to pray for happiness in our in our families, in our, within ourselves, and in the whole world. Heavenly Parent, we have we need your Spirit to guide, to satisfy us, to make us happy. Heavenly Parent, we go through a lot in our daily lives. Heavenly Parent, there are so many challenges. Heavenly Parents that we face that take away our joy and take away our happiness. Heavenly Parent, King of Kings. Please, you are the true source of happiness, the true source of joy. Therefore, we pray and we dedicate our lives to you that fill us with your warmth, fill us with your spirit so that we can be in good spirits all the time, so that we can be contented with what you have given us, Heavenly Parent. Even those things that we lack, Heavenly Parent, we are quite very sure that you're going to provide because you have been providing, Heavenly Parent. We know that your desire is not to make us suffer. Your desire is to make us happy. Your desire is to rejoice with us, Heavenly Parent. There are for King of Kings. Accept the condition that we are making this evening. We beg you, Heavenly Father. We pray for brothers and sisters in different countries, those that are fighting, those that are, that are full of conflicts, those the people who have no time to sleep. They have forgotten about sleep. They have forgotten even about having a parent attending to you because they are always on the run all the time, King of Kings. Please, we pray that you give them joy. Give them some peace where they can sit and remember you and rejoice with you, Heavenly Parent. So we pray that you can continue guiding them and protecting them always. We pray and we dedicate all the leaders across the world, Heavenly Parent, politically, spiritually, culturally, Heavenly Parent, and in all spheres of, of life, Heavenly Parent, that you continue working with them to achieve peace, to achieve happiness, to achieve prosperity in their countries, in their families, Heavenly Parent, and also 
all of us who are on this platform, we pray for happiness, we pray for peace, we pray for joy in our lives. Do not allow us to cry. Do not allow us even parent to be sad and to have sorrow in our heart. Become our hope in everything that in every time that we our hearts are down, Heavenly Parent. Thank you so much. I dedicate this prayer on behalf of brothers and sisters in the most precious true parents. Amen. Adieu. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much, Grace. Uh, so powerful prayer. Let thy will be done. Please join my prayer too. Uh, dear Heavenly Parent, we are so happy to meet you alive here. As you create Adam and Eve and you image, we understand that uh, you are our Heavenly Father and Heavenly Mother. And uh, we came today, uh, I came uh, to shout out, uh, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Mother, thank you so very much for this uh, great blessed day. Dear Heavenly Parent, we join here together to build Peace 2027. As uh, um, this is predestination for all billions, 8 billion people on the earth for live in peace by 2027. Uh, you bless us to meet this concrete time and this concrete meeting uh, to rejoice together and they build substantial peace. We see, if you analyze carefully history, we see during the history that uh, you lead the history. And despite all of these wars that politicians and uh, kings and others was allowing themselves to do, um, allow themselves to strike, you was uh, moving your providence with the believers uh, and they raised humanity from the age of um, no any rules uh, age uh, of um, Cain Abel um, to the Moses with ten commandments then with the Jesus with live uh, neighbors and God and uh, even the enemies to the today's world of the Messiah second coming that they you sent to the world all well, begotten son and begotten daughter and they as true parents um, they built heavenly kingdom. The 12th year already is reign on earth. Despite the, what is still politicians and the people in power allow themselves to, to make the wars and to every individual, to all your children, uh, they have fight in the mind and body. You build this kingdom and you bless the whole world to live in peace uh, and that uh, everyone could inherit from the Messiah and coming every day. Uh, the, this uh, meeting on Church One, uh, that um, Messiah was said to pray every evening uh, and joy with the uh, only begotten daughter, uh, the supernatural of the Holy Spirit, and get uh, really reborn in this um, um, greatest uh, global prayer chain and this uh, revival meeting that is uh, go across the globe and that that uh, is uh, really bringing. Uh, this is uh, second Pentecost that is uh, with the fire uh, purify us. And uh, I feel it in myself. I feel it in my family. I feel it in community, country, and the world uh, that all of these strikes, all of these uh, difficulties are, are vanishing away, are purifying away uh, at the level of individuals, families, communities, country, and the world. Uh, even that some uh, allow themselves to fight, you lead them to purify and build a special kingdom, dear Heavenly Parent, and uh, the, the, the uh, real um, um, shining from the east, what was prophesied in the, the scriptures, is not uh, far away, it's just right here with us, and the kingdom is building despite of all of these uh, difficulties. Uh, dear Heavenly Parent, uh, lead us, uh, lead us, uh, those who was at our meeting, uh, priests, bishops, archbishops, uh, and even the cardinals and popes and the world religious leaders, all the political leaders, uh, prime ministers, and um, and uh, all others, um, um, kings and uh, um, presidents, uh, all in who are in power, all uh, uh, businessmen, uh, billionaires, there was blessed just with one reason, to unite with Messiah and coming and finish the kingdom in every corner of the world. Uh, dear Heavenly Parent, lead them, liberate them uh, to do this and uh, gain the greatest victory of purification the earth to prepare it uh, 
for our children. We don't want to, to, to uh, wait for another 2000 years, uh, but uh, we know that uh, you predestination for all human beings to live in peace is right now in our uh, life, in our communities, countries, and the world, in our families. And uh, let me see it. Let me open our heart to see it. God in our life, God in our family, and our community, country, the world. We breath God. Uh, we 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 um, uh, have the test of true love of God right here in this concrete uh, moment at this concrete meeting. Dear Heavenly Parent, please lead us. I really pray that you could lead us even more and receive this uh, short report. Uh, um, uh, lead us to to raise substantial funds, not someday but every day, uh, today and tomorrow, uh, to build um, heavenly kingdom and uh, meet. Uh, prepared people don't doesn't don't the baptist uh, mission that, that they could uh, um, lead their people to messiah's incoming please receive this uh, short report uh, and uh, uh, let the truth the, the divine principle that you discover for humanity the words of god from the messiah's incoming one god son one god daughter uh, really give resurrection and salvation to all human beings let them really uh, be uh, engrafted in our hearts and uh, in our uh, families, community, country, the world. We are so thankful for today and lead us tomorrow and every day. Uh, and uh, we bring this uh, 1,000 first um, prayer meeting, global prayer meeting from all continents. Uh, I pray uh, for uh, Grace uh, in Uganda, for Joshua and uh, all of them in heavenly Africa. Would, would, um, uh, Amos in Gabon, and uh, I'm with Jan and, and, and Stella in uh, Europe. Please lead us and uh, please receive this humble report. Uh, and my name is Nikolai Kerpalas and the Plus family. Adieu. Amen. 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 Yeah, thank you very much, brothers and sisters. Let's meet tomorrow, same time, same place. Uh, we invite uh, much more people, all family, to rejoice together. <laughs>